know, is this cute or is this giving Shrek? Oh, color, but I'm just not gonna go around saying, you should. No. First of all, unless you're using my $20 gel. Yeah. Or your $10 haircut. I pull up in the club, VIP, gas tank on E, but all drinks on me. Hey! Oh, now, I don't know what's going on. All right, good morning, y'all, and welcome to this week's vlog. Today is Monday, October the 30th at 8.30 in the morning, and today we're going back to nursing school, and we have a test this morning. We have two tests today. One is in the community health, and one is the, like, nursing comprehensive, so it's, like, all the subjects that your professor should have taught you um, is combined into one test. And then there's leadership, which leadership shouldn't be that hard, um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I am starting to get annoyed with the fact that we have tests every Monday, which I know last semester and fourth semester, we literally had tests every single Monday. It wasn't in um, like the same class. Like it was like alternating between three of the classes that we had, but it's like, girl, I'm in fifth semester. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of doing these tests, but I know that it's important. So I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying, suck it up. Make it do what it do. I'm gonna be using this a lot throughout this vlog. It's the Peach and Lily Wild Dew Treatment Essence Drench and Prep. I started using this last week and I absolutely love it. But anyway, um, yeah, I I refuse to get a parking pass for my school because it's $400 per semester and I think that's absolutely ridiculous. And we don't have, like, I know I just said that we have, you know, test every Monday. But, like, realistically, fifth semester, we usually have class twice a month. If you think I'm going to pay $400 to have class twice a month, you are out of your freaking mind. So, I've been parking at the nursing school without a parking pass. And, like, I was telling you last week, like, I felt like they were only giving me a ticket. And, m honestly, most of the people at the nursing school do not have parking passes. Because, again, it's $400. And everybody just ain't got $400. I don't care if I did have $400. I'm not getting it to the nursing school. It, it, like, and it's not even the nursing school. I wouldn't give it to my school because that's just that's just dumb like you just don't deserve 400 of my dollars to park in a parking spot like I'm, it's just stupid but i felt like they were giving me a ticket and like skipping over the other people that don't have tickets like like they also don't have parking pass give them a ticket but anyway who cares um justin is going to take me to class this morning my test should only be an hour because when we had the practice test the practice test was only like 90 questions ish so i'm pretty sure they're gonna make us stay until dang I'm pretty sure they're going to make us stay until everybody finishes their test, so it'll probably take about an hour. But I'm really grateful that Justin was willing to um, take me to class because he didn't have to. Like, I know it's super early in the morning and it would be annoying, but he's a great husband and he was like, yeah, of course. So, yeah. Um, what do we have on the agenda for this week? Yesterday, Justin and I went to go and get Christmas. I'm going to say Christmas presents. We went to go and get our Christmas decorations because my mom, my grandma, my aunt, my brother, my sister, and Tim are coming for my graduation. And of course, they're going to want to see where we stay. So I want to make sure that our Christmas decorations are on point. We are putting up our Christmas decorations on November the 1st. Um, and I'm really excited about that because I love Christmas. We had our fall decorations up from September to October. So I feel like that's long enough. And for Christmas, I'm pretty sure that we're going to go to New York for Christmas. I posted that on my Instagram story and some girl was like, you don't need to be going to New York. You don't need to be going to New York. Girl, first of all, do not do not anger me. OK, like, who are you to tell me like where I can and can't go? She was like, you don't need to come to New York. You're going to be disappointed. New York is so boring. There's nothing to do. It's not exciting, blah, blah, blah. It's literally New York City. There's always something to do. Like, I don't understand why people do that. Like, whenever I say like, Oh, like, I want to go here. People are like, oh my gosh, you should not go there. You should not go there. And I'm going to touch on this for just one second. I'm, I'm going to hit it and quit it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like some people, if they don't have the ability to do something, they also don't want you to do it. Do you hear where I'm going? Like, if I say, oh, I want to go to Cancun next weekend just for fun. They're like, you don't need to be going to Cancun. Like, you're in nursing school. And you need to be studying for your income. Like, you don't need to be going. Okay, just because you can't go to Cancun next weekend doesn't mean that I shouldn't go. You know what I'm saying? And like some people like in my comments, like they just, not in my comments, but in my DMs, like they just get so rude, so rude. And they're like, you don't need to be doing this. You don't need, like, girl, when did you become my mama? When, when did you become my mama? What's going on? So freaking annoying. Anyway, I did my hair last night and I did it like in a little different little way. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be cutesy curly, like not too curly though, but I think it's strange that like this side is longer, but it's like bouncier and this side is shorter, but it's longer. I don't know, it is what it is, but 
I just wanted my hair to be cute. I don't know, is this cute or is this giving Shrek? I don't know. See, now I'm so conscious. I'll put some water on it so maybe it'll lengthen up a little bit. I don't look like Shrek. Even though I love Shrek, that's such a good movie. Justin hates Shrek for whatever reason. Yeah. I just want my hair to look decent. I feel like the back looks good. No? Yeah, the back looks really, really good. Can y'all see that? Oh yeah, y'all can see that. The back looks good. I just wanted a hairstyle that will keep my hair like protected. So doing the braids. I feel like it'll look better later when I like have on makeup and stuff, but I'm not putting on makeup for class today because that would just be silly. Um, but yeah, we're going to class and I will let y'all know how it goes when I get back. All right, y'all. So it is 1039 and I just finished taking my test. So it was the community health ATI, like the proctored exam. And a proctored exam just means that like, well, number one, it means that you can't go back. Like once you answer a question and you click next question, like you can't go back to like the previous question. So like whatever answer you put, like that's your answer. And I used to hate that it was like that, but now I like that it's like that because the NCLEX is also like that. So I feel like that's really important. Um, but yeah, so I was taking the test and I was like, you know what? Okay, like I know this and I know this and like I may not know this answer, but like I can kind of deduce that, you know, this is probably the right answer. Long story short, I ended up making a level two. Now, if you're not familiar with nursing, you're like pre-nursing, you have no idea what I'm talking about. When you take your ATI exams and you're going to take them for all your classes, I'm talking OB, fundamentals, pharmacology, nutrition, community health, leadership, all that stuff, you're going to take it for all of your classes. And it's pretty much like a comprehensive, like, these are the important points that you should have learned, right? So when you take your ATI, it's assigned by levels. So level one, level two, and level three. And it's determined by like the percentage that you make. So usually like a 50 something and below is a level one um or not even 50 usually like 60s and below you made a level one usually 70s depending on how hard the test is like 68 to like 78 that's usually like level two range and like 80 and above is usually level three range but if the if it's really really hard like if it's something like which one was really hard I think like pharmacology there it's like scaled a little bit lower so it's easier for you to like make a level two level three whatever anyway i made a level two when it finalized and everything i made a 78 i am so proud of that i'm so so proud of that and i used to be like um like oh i need to make a's all the time blah 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 but like and i used to be so against like the c's get degrees like whatever that everybody says and i was like no like i need to make a like i need to show that i'm proficient blah blah a c is proficient like whether you want to believe that or not a c is proficient and all you need to pass the nclex is a 75 that's a c <laughs> all you need to do is make a 75 on the nclex and you're good you're good you're kosher so um yeah i'm really really proud of that and now since i made a level two that means that i don't have to come back and take the test again which i i don't know when the retake for that class is it's not even on my calendar Oh, never mind. It's on the 13th. We'll not be here. And I think that's literally... Yeah, so I have another ATI next week. And if I do good on that one too, and I don't have to retake it, then I don't have to go to class on the week of the 13th. And that would be so awesome. That'd be so awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy. Um, right now we have a recruitment visit. I don't know which hospital it is. But they said that they're bringing lunch. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. But yeah, as far as the rest of today goes, we need to go to Sam's because Justin is out of Coke and they also have sushi. So I really want some sushi from Sam's. Um, I also need to get gas and then we're going to go to the gym and then we're going to go to work. We work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. That's so crazy. Why do I feel like I have clinical this week? Is it this week or is it next week? It's next week. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's kind of where we're at right now. It's super like chilly and fall outside. I'm going to show y'all like look at that it's so just october i love it i don't care like, my christmas decoration still going up on the first okay so we just finished up with our recruitment visit um it really wasn't that long i think it was like 30 minutes i thought that i didn't have another ati today i do and it's at 1 30 so we're gonna go to sam's we're gonna get gas probably gonna stop and get something to eat um and then go home eat it come back take the ati and then go to the gym so we got a lot going on
Okay, so our brand that I'm working with, I was supposed to post content for them, like, the week after we got back from Turk. So, it would have been last week. And they, like, completely ghosted us, like, didn't say anything. And now, all of a sudden, they're like, oh, post today. We need to post it. We need to post right now. We need to post right now. Like, girl, I don't want to be stressed out when I post. Now, granted, I do like the content, and I think the content is amazing. But it's like... whatever we're going to sam's okay so i was just in Publix and i got two packs of coke for justin and one pack of root beer zero for me and she was like standing like literally so close behind me like on my shoulder and she's like mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm, yeah like girl i know how to scan i know how to scan and then my root beer like wasn't ringing up like i said the barcode was invalid and then like the little scanner thing started working she was like holding my hand like i'm usually so patient but like please stop touching me please stop touching me and then like i had to like do something on the screen and she was like trying to guide my hand stop touching me Ooh. i was like no thank you i got it if i need your help i'll let you know thank you so much go away immediately but now we're gonna get some chick-fil-a i spent 29 dollars in um what's this place called Publix. not bad 36 drinks 30 dollars and it's fine the Chick-fil-A line was ridiculously long, so I had to, like, there's no inside to the Chick-fil-A in Tuscaloosa. Like, it's either drive through or you go up to, like, a little window and you get your Chick-fil-A. So I went up to the little window, got our stuff. Now we're going to go, well, now we're at home. Um, Justin and I are probably going to watch an episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then I have a test at 1.30, so no time. Y'all, really, truly, and honestly, I just think I'm that girl. I think I'm that girl today because I just made, well, I took my second test. It was the Community Health Proctored ATI. And I made a 76, which is a level two, which means that I passed and that I don't have to come back and take the retake. I was going to go to the gym today, but my body is so tired and I'm so sleepy and we have to go to work tonight. So I think I'm going to just go home and wash my uniforms if Justin hasn't done it already. And then I'm going to pack my lunch and I'm going to go to sleep and we're going to wake up at like five like 5.45. Okay, so it is 6.01. Um, have worked from 7p to 7a today. I feel like I'll never see this angle. Hey, this is the living room. Um, but I feel like I'm always rushing to make my coffee right before work. So I wanted to do that before I got dressed. Because really the only thing I have to do is get dressed. Do to get dressed is get dressed. There we go. Okay, so let's make our coffee. So this is the cup that I use. It's from Starbucks. As you can see, it has like the little like funky groovy pattern and a purple straw. I got it from Target. I think it was like $17. Okay, so I have an espresso machine. It's right here. I kind of don't know if y'all can see that, but very dangerous. But here's my espresso machine. Um, I got it from Target. It was about like, this was an adhesive shower thing. Uh, not shower, but a towel holder. And it went right here and it fell. That sucks. Anyway, um, I got it from Target. It was like $200. Do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely, I think it's worth it. I have saved so much money by getting an espresso because now I don't even like going to Starbucks anymore because I know that my coffee at home is so much better, even though I still use the Starbucks brand. So this is a Starbucks coffee that I use. It's the Starbucks Blonde Espresso. Oh my gosh, so good. Because my drink from Starbucks, and I've never told y'all, is an iced blonde vanilla latte, five pumps of cinnamon, Five pumps of cinnamon dolce um, and caramel sauce lining the cup. I can literally make that at home and it's so freaking easy. I do two shots of espresso, espresso from this um, and I feel like it makes a good bit. But I can never figure out exactly how like it works. I know it needs a second to warm up so we're gonna let it warm up for a second. And this is what it looks like whenever it comes out. And guess what I wanted to see? Because when I got my Nespresso, like, nobody was making videos like this. So, this is what it looks like. And I usually do two because, like, girl, I work night shift. I shouldn't have to explain. I need to. Okay, my camera's about to die, so I'm going to try to hurry up and show y'all this. But this is about how much espresso it makes. And then I line, ooh, I line the cup with this Smucker's Caramel Sauce. And then I personally like whole milk in mine. You put whatever kind of milk you want in yours. And then I use the cinnamon, cinnamon vanilla cream from Coffee Mate. So I'm just gonna take this syrup and I'm just literally going to line the cup with it. I don't really have a measurement for it, just a good bit. Um, the only thing I have that I, okay, hold on. I also use this Tarani salted caramel. Can y'all see that? Yeah, and I add like just a little bit in there. Y'all remember that one girl during the pandemic used to make the chaotic coffee videos? I wonder how she's doing. All right, a little bit of milk. I oh, know it. 
See, I'm doing this out of order because I'm y'all watching me. Okay, and then just a little bit of this because it can start to taste like it's just that. Because I like my coffee to have a little bit of like a strong coffee taste. Let's add a little bit more milk. Oh my gosh, I was supposed to add ice. Um, yeah, we have crunchy ice at work, so I'll probably just wait. But I'm gonna add just a little bit of the syrup. That's perfect, and that's it. All right, I'm done making my coffee, and I honestly feel like I like this new setup a lot better like I like making my coffee first because sometimes when I rush and I make my coffee it's nasty and then other times when I rush and I make my coffee hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh other times when I rush and I make my coffee it's not as good oh I need we need more of that Justin hates whenever I use that right before bed because it burns his eyes because it's so minty fresh why do I have two pairs of pants I think I'm gonna wear my skinny girl pants today. I'm gonna save my big girl pants for night three. I say big girl pants just because like they're way too big for me now. They used to fit when I first started working there, but I lost a lot of weight since then, so they don't fit as good as they used to. These pants I got from an old friend, um, and they're a size large. Her booty was out of this world, so I don't understand how she fit this into a. So I don't understand how she fit that into a medium. Um, but yeah, she's. Let's talk about that. So she. When I got into my first semester of nursing school, she was in her third semester of nursing school, and we also worked at the same place. This is before I got my job as an extern, and she was kind of like my mentor. Like, she wasn't too far ahead of me in nursing school that she just, like, couldn't relate. Like, she wasn't that far gone yet. And it was just really nice to be able to just, like, talk to her and be like, bro, like, I'm so stressed out about this. I'm so stressed out about that. She's like, yes, like, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Like, I completely understand where you're coming from. Let me brush my teeth real quick. Okay, but yeah, anyway, me and her were like <clears throat> super, super close. Like when I got JoJo, she was the one that went with me to go and get JoJo. Also, backstory when I got JoJo, I know this is kind of like a side quest of what we're talking about right now. Me and three of my other friends at the time, we went to, I don't know what it's called. I have toothpaste right here. I don't know what it's called, but we went to downtown Tuscaloosa and we were like getting doing like a wine tasting oh my gosh it was so cool and so chill and we were looking at all of the adoptable dogs at the Tuscaloosa Metro Animal Shelter and I was like y'all should get a dog I should get a dog like it's only a hundred dollars we get paid tomorrow like I might as well just like go ahead and get a dog mind y'all I was making nine dollars because I was working as a library desk assistant so I don't know where I thought I was going to have this like abundance of money and like yes I was doing social media at the time but it was like barely getting me by you know what I mean so anyway I was like, okay, let's go and do it. And my friend, she was like, okay, well, I'm gonna come with you. And I was like, okay, perfect. So we waited for her to finish, like something she had to do with class or whatever. And we went to go look at the puppies and I was like, hey, like, can I go and see your puppy room? And they're like, yeah. So we went into the puppy room and there were three black dogs and they all looked like they were like pit mixes. And there was one dog right here. It was like black and white. And oh my gosh, this little dog looks so scared. It looked scared out of his mind. And it was the only dog that was not barking. And I looked up and I was like, oh my gosh, hi, you're so cute. You're so cute. And then I'm like held my hand up to the crate and it started licking. And I was like, I don't know what it is, but this dog is really freaking cute. So I FaceTimed Justin. I was like, Justin, look how cute this freaking dog. And he, he was like, you're, you're getting a dog. Like you're being serious. And I was like, yes, I'm getting a dog. Like I was being so serious. So we take them to the playroom and you have to play with the dog before you adopt them just to see like if y'all bond really well. Um, and so we did that and oh my gosh, he was so cute. He was playing around, he was jumping, he got so much energy and I was like, this cannot be that scared little dog that I just saw two seconds ago. Also, if you're eating, stop for a second. Um, also, he was covered in poop when first got him. Like his entire body was like covered in poop, like under his nails, it was disgusting. Anyway, that's the story of Jojo. Um, I got him and he was eight weeks old, pay $100 for him, and they was like, okay, get up out of here. You and your dog, get out. <laughs> and I love it. But anyway, she went with me. Um, she came to the house every single day for two weeks. And she had a hound dog as well at home, and it was like her childhood dog. And she's like, look, look, you know, hounds do this, and they do that, and like, beware of Parvo, don't let him go on grass, don't take him to like the dog park yet until he gets all his shot, blah, blah, like stuff that I did not know. So I was very grateful for her for that. But she was telling like me and the rest of our friends like before, you know, everybody went on and graduated. She was like, I'm the type of person who would like, if I don't see you every day, like I'm, I'm not able to maintain that friendship. And now we don't talk anymore. And it makes me really sad because she was a very, very, very good friend. But you know, some, some relationships are just like that. Like some, some people, I don't want to say you grow out of because I don't feel like I grew out of her, but some people just grow out of you and you know, that's okay. But if she was ever like, hey, and she doesn't live far. She don't live far at all. 
But um, if she ever texted me and was like, hey, like, do you want to hang out? You know, blah, blah, blah. I would still say yes, just because she's still a really good friend, no matter what. I, I want to say I'm not a person that usually, like, doesn't burn bridges, because I am. <laughs> I am. Um, I love to burn a good bridge. But, um, like, she was a really good friend. She's a really good person still. Like, just because, just because you stop being friends with somebody doesn't make them a bad person. You know what I'm saying? So. But, yeah, if she ever needed anything, like, I would definitely come to her rescue. So, not that she needs me to rescue her. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know why I feel the need to clarify every little thing that I say. But, yeah, um, she was a really good friend to me. But it's crazy to think that, like, I've been in nursing school that long. Like, our nursing program, like, you're pre-nursing first. So you have to take, like, all your nursing school prerequisites. And then you apply to get into nursing school. And, like, to apply, you don't just, like, apply and then look at your grades, whatever. Like, it's a whole process. Like, you have to do interviews and write papers and do blah, 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 blah. And I get it because our nursing school is so competitive and they don't just take anybody. They don't even take everybody. But yeah, um, I'm really grateful that I got into this nursing school. I know sometimes I complain and I'm like, bruh, this is the dumbest thing that we could ever possibly be doing. But like sometimes like today I had a moment where I was like, I really need to stop and think about how hard I pray to God to let me into this nursing school. I was a mess. I was like, God, please, 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 Lord, I pray that they let me into this nursing school. Like this is my one chance. This is my one chance. Like I got to do it. And I did it. And God smiled out on me because now I'm here and I'm about to graduate. I'm about to graduate and still like it hasn't kicked in yet that like by January in two three months time I'm gonna be somebody's nurse I'm gonna be walking into somebody's room and be like hey I'm Jay I'm gonna be your nurse today blah 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 that is crazy to me that is crazy to me um and you know what sometimes you really have to like as lame as it sounds like sometimes you really have to stop and smell the roses because you will look up one day and you will realize that you're living the exact life that you pray for which is crazy not to get like all preachery, not to get all preachery, but I'm preachery, not to get all preachy, but I'm just saying like sometimes you look around you think you're like, ah, this is the life that I manifested. You know what I mean? It's good. I gotta make sure my kitchen good and it's not, uh, uh. okay, let's, um, <laughs> let's fix that. Do you remember that TikTok where she was like the back of my, with the back of my head looks like it's none of my business? I feel that. I feel that on a very deep level. I'm also trying not to be late to work tonight, but it is what it is. Also, oh my gosh, all my friends work tonight. Hopefully we be laughing and not crying. Cause that's how it goes. Like if we start laughing, the hospital laughs back, okay? <laughs> so don't, don't get to laughing. Cause it's gonna get real unfunny. But yeah, I'm proud of myself today. I was a good little, I was a good little nursing student today. I passed both my tests. Flying colors, my car and get told, you know what I'm saying? It's good. Everything is all good. All right, check the kitchen. Does it look like I just fixed that? Okay, let me tuck this in. Right, right. Oh, it's the way that I thought it was tucked and then it wasn't. Okay, and then this side. It look good. It look good. Okay, let me put some gel. To like the little back ends and i think we'll be good can y'all see this this is the gel that i use it's the wetline extreme and i get it from target it's like four dollars for this whole like big thing it's awesome i talked about this in my last video but somebody was talking how like as a black woman like you some people i'm not gonna say everybody but like some people feel the need to be so like kept up like it, it's hard for some black women to do like the whole messy bun look because then you feel unkept because you have to like you feel like you have to put on a show for other people Ugh, i hate that i hate that i hate that because i'm one of those people oh my gosh i'm one of those people like everything has to be a slick bag everything has to be like oh she didn't just you know hop out of bed like you know she put time into her appearance and i just oh i want to be free from that i really 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 want to be free from that i like and it's not like oh i don't like you know looking put together i love looking be, looking put together but I, you know, sometimes I, I want to be a messy bun girl. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Y'all, yeah. I'm getting overwhelmed. Everything is literally fine. I don't know why I feel overwhelmed. Okay. Um, I'm going to put on some lotion. I'm going to put on some perfume. I'm going to wash my hands because I have gel literally all over my hands. It's so gross. Also, as a little side note, I am so excited to put up Christmas decorations this week. I know I told y'all Justin, like, literally hates it. Like, he doesn't want us to put up Christmas decorations. Well, it's not that he doesn't want us to. He's just like, why? Like, there's a whole month in between, like, October and Christmas. And I'm just like, no, there's not. Because we don't celebrate um, Thanksgiving. Mm-mm. We won't play like that. We won't play like that. Um, so it's like Halloween, Christmas. Halloween, Christmas. There is no 
holiday in between. But yeah, I just feel like we're, I'm gonna be so busy in the month of December, like graduation, and then November, there's my birthday, and blah, blah, blah. Also, don't get y'all's hopes up. I'm not doing anything for my birthday. I know, I'm lame. Okay, wait, I take that back. I am doing something for my birthday, but it's not gonna be in the month of, in the month of November. It's not gonna be until December because I think I told y'all already, we're going to New York for Christmas. I just feel like that would be so fun. But technically, no, I'm lying. Technically, we're gonna go um, to Seattle like the week before my birthday. So I'm gonna count that as my birthday trip. We can count that, we can count that. Oh my gosh, Justin and I should go to Ruth Chris. Cause he's never been before, I don't think. And oh my gosh, I would love to see him dressed up again. I got him. Justin loves to wear athleisure and so do I. But like before we met, like I was like, oh my gosh, let's go to this restaurant. Let's get dressed up, blah, blah, blah. And now I've become the person that literally does not have a single piece of dress up wear. I only have athleisure. But like also to be fair, social media kind of became my job and like fitness and athleisure kind of like fits my brand or whatever. Y'all, what time is it? I'm sitting here get, oh, y'all, we gotta go. Y'all, we gotta go. I'm talking to y'all so much that I just get so carried away and we end up talking about Literally everything, which I love that. That means we're good friends. Why is this not going on? I need to stop rushing. I need to stop rushing. I'm not rushing. Cause when you rush, things happen. So just, just relax John. just relax. I was talking to somebody and I was like, um, oh yeah, blah, 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 my husband. And I heard myself and I was like, what? I'm a married girl, y'all. Your sister's off the market. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, speaking of sister, my sister was trying to do some dating app, but like it wouldn't let her use her phone number because when she first tried to make one, she was underage. And she was like, Jay, can I use your phone number to like send the verification code so I can get on this dating app? And I was like, and she was like, but I understand like if you say no because you're married. And so I asked us and I was like, hey, like, are you cool with this? And he was like, yeah. But it still didn't let her do it anyway, but I thought that was funny. All right, y'all, I'm leaving. I'm going to work. I'll see y'all later. All right, good morning, y'all. It is, what's today? Tuesday, October 31st at like 7.30 in the morning. Just got off work, took Jojo out, um, fed him. I'm whispering because Justin is asleep in the bedroom. Um, but last night was super good. We didn't have any patience at all, but I'm about to hop in the shower because it is freezing outside. It's like 40 something degrees, which I know to some people that live in like the North, they're like, be shy, that's nothing. But like to a Southern girl, that's a little bit cold. So I'm about to hop in the shower and then I'll talk to y'all when I'm doing my skincare routine. Okay, so I'm out of the shower, I took a quick one, but this is the mouthwash I use. I absolutely love it. It's the Therabreath, um, which one is it? Sparkle Mint. I'm almost out of it. Like I was showing you yesterday. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's the best. Okay, let's talk about work tonight. Um, like I was telling y'all, do I have a spider bite? Like a mosquito bite? Anyway, like I was telling y'all, um, we did not have any patience. Um, but we did make sure that the unit was super clean because we had some like big wigs coming to the unit and so we wanted to make sure that everything was super good for whenever day shift came so it was like one less thing that they had to worry about and so we did that. Then once that was all done, all the rooms were stocked, the unit was clean, um, we watched Grey's Anatomy because they finally put like a huge TV in our break room and it's just so nice and so we watched Grey's Anatomy. It was Naya's first time ever watching it and so of course she got to go through all the emotions. I think we made it all the way into season two. Um, I've also developed a new study regimen. I don't know if I've told you about my study regimen for nursing school but basically I'll go on ATI. If you don't know what ATI is, it's pretty much like a web interface that most nursing schools use to kind of like prepare their students for the NCLEX. Um, and it has like all these questions and modules and you know whatever if you don't know there's something called oh my god what is it called it's, it's some kind of quiz bank it's some kind of quiz bank it's under the assessment section um but anyway i wish i would have found that out sooner when i was going through like fundamentals of pharmacology but anyway is this the right thing no it's not um but anyway so i am going through all those sections and doing all the questions so i think there's like maybe 20 or so sections and it's split up into like geriatric and then adult med surge cardiac gi respiratory peace maternal child community health leadership like all that good stuff is broken up into different categories and like if you want to your questions from whatever like unique quiz that you create can only be about those questions or it can be a mix of questions you can make it comprehensive you can choose how many questions you want you can choose like how the interface of the quiz is set up so it's really awesome um and i've been doing that and yesterday 
um, like I'll do the questions and then as I'm doing the questions like if I get one wrong or if I guess and I like accidentally get it right I have a word document that's also pulled up like right next to it it's kind of like split screen and I will write like the subject header you know whatever so like last night it was cardiac and I um would say like I think I forgot what um, polycythemia vera is. It's pretty much when your blood is just like super thick and sludgy and it makes your heart have to work harder, causes damages to your organs. And that was something that was like in the very, very back of my brain, but it wasn't on the forefront of my brain. Like I wanted it to be, so I wrote it down. I wrote down like the main um, like adverse side effects, telltale clinical manifestations, like any medications that patients with this um, condition will get. Like if there's any special positioning that they have to, like I wrote all that down and I'm a person like if I write it down I will remember it forever because I have an edetic memory not like a photographic memory but an edetic memory so usually if I write something down like whether it's on um what is it called um Microsoft Word or whether I write it down with like normal pen and paper it doesn't matter I can close my eyes so I can remember like okay I wrote about polycythemia vera um that was something that I studied on Monday October the 30th and I remember like on the page I remember it was right here and like in my mind I can read like exactly what I wrote verbatim it's so weird I didn't even discover that I had that until I was in nursing school but it is a very very useful tool I feel like that's a fun fact I like when people ask me what my fun fact is I feel like that's what I need to be saying because that's kind of cool but anyway so yeah that's what I've been doing and I feel like that study method has honestly really helped me oh my gosh also I told you I have like eczema really bad on my feet and it's been like that really bad for a year I'm not gonna show y'all because I know that sometimes like y'all eat and watch YouTube videos and some people are like very weird about like body stuff like sometimes I'm weird about like skin and eye stuff I, I can't even deal with it anyway this um, cortisone 10 intensive healing lotion for eczema is like healing it within days. Like it's it's awesome. It's definitely making a difference and I wish I would have started using it a lot sooner. But it's awesome and it's clearing up my eczema and that is literally all I could have asked for. So awesome. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like my new study regimen is working because I made a level two on both of my ATIs yesterday. So definitely feel like it's working um, and that's making me feel really good because at the end of the day, I just wanna pass my NCLEX, start my job as a nurse and just be the best nurse that I can possibly be for my patients and then also for my coworkers. Like I wanna be a good coworker. Like I want people to be like, I want to give Jay a report today because I know that Jay comes in on time. I know that Jay, like I know that I've become, you know, attached to this patient and I know that Jay's gonna take really good care of them. Like I wanna be that nurse. I want to be that nurse and like I'm not oblivious to the fact that like being a new grad or, like being a nurse in general like I know that it's hard and I know that it's not always going to be easy but I also know how hard I prayed to even like be in this position so I want to always like remain as grateful as possible so yeah that's kind of where I'm at right now um but as far as the rest of the take it as far as the rest of today goes um I am going to Put on my Eucerin cream, Eczema Girlies Unite, um, and then we're gonna go to sleep, we're gonna wake up, and we're gonna go to the gym. So, I will see y'all when we wake up. Okay, it's a little bit dark because I'm under the shade and I'm also in my car, and y'all know the lighting sometimes in my car is weird because everything's black. Um, but anyway, I just got up from my nap. Well, not like, just got up. I got up at 2.30, cause Justin was like, I'm gonna come lay down with you, and I was like, okay. And so he laid down with me, and then we got up at like 3.20. Um, and I was like checking my phone, checking my emails, all that good stuff. And then I knew that I wanted to come to the gym today. So I went ahead and picked out an outfit. Justin made me some mozzarella sticks and he's like, how many? And I was like, just five. And he was like, just five? Yes, just five. I'm trying to unbig my back. Like I don't need more than five. Um, and then, okay. So like when you're a social media influencer or whatever, you're getting paid by these brands. It's not like they pay you first and then you post seldom does that ever happen usually you post and then they usually work on like a net 30 net 45 net 60 basis so that means let's say i post a video on january the first right but this brand has a campaign for january 1st through february 29th right you're not getting paid if it's net 30 you're not getting paid january 30th you're getting paid when that campaign closes on the 29th of February, you're getting paid 30 days after that close date, right? So it kind of feels like you're doing work for free and it can get really, really frustrating, especially when like sometimes the payment schedules get off and if you don't stay on them about it, they'll forget, they'll give you the runaround, 
blah 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 thankfully like i have somebody that handles all of that for me um but like with the holiday season about to come up brands are starting to get very forgetful um so there is a lot of money on the table that is not accounted for and it's a little stressful but i try not to stress about out about stuff like that because at the end of the day like our bills are paid like we have food we have shelter we have water we're gonna be fine like this is literally just spending money so i'm trying not to like be super anal about it because i know that it's gonna be okay um but it's still just annoying you know but yeah um try not to let that stress me out but right now we're at the gym because i i don't want to say how much weight i want to lose because i don't want somebody to look at my body type and be like oh my gosh i love the way Johanna looks like she looks just like me and like i'm so confident in my body and she's so confident in her body and then i say like oh i want to lose i'm just gonna throw out a number I'm, i want to lose like 60 pounds or something and they're like oh well like i was confident in my body and we have the same body type and now she's saying that she needs to lose 60 pounds so like now do i need to lose 60 pounds you know what i'm saying like and i feel like that's why i kind of fell off with the whole fitness realm of tiktok because if i'm if i'm just being really really honest if i'm being really honest and super transparent i do think that when i lost all that weight last year i developed an eating disorder just a little bit like not like I, I don't know if I can really say that it was an eating disorder, but I definitely had disordered eating habits. Like I was eating maybe like once a day and working out hardcore, burning like 900 calories every workout. And I was losing the weight, yes, and I was happy, yes, but I just don't think I was doing it in a super healthy way. So this time I'm trying to go about it, you know, the right way, like increasing my protein and like having a colorful plate and fruits and vegetables and all that good stuff. Like that's what I'm trying to do this time. And yes, like it's like the results are slower. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not quick, like, oh, you were only eating once a day and you were burning 4,000, 5,000 calories every single day. And the meals that you were eating were probably like 700. So it's, it's, the gratification isn't as instant as it was. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to stay the course. But yeah, so we're going to go in here in the gym and then we're going to go to work. All right, y'all, we're out of the gym. It was super packed today. So I ran for like half a mile. And then after that, I went and did some like squats to overhead press so like you squat okay it's like one continuous motion but <laughs> oh my gosh so you squat down pull the dumbbells up overhead press go back to squat down and i did like 30 of those and then after that i did some dumbbell rdls i did some leg press i did some hip adduction sorry it always takes me a second um and then i did some leg extensions and that was it and i took a nice little progress picture and that was all i forgot to bring my water so i was so thirsty when i was in there i know you're not supposed to drink water that you leave in your car but here we are also like i feel a lot better like my endorphins are going I feel really good um they called naya and asked her if she wanted low census um and she said yes but she's hurting really bad because her period just started so girl i'm with you i would do the exact same thing um so yeah now we're gonna go home and shower and take out jojo and all that good stuff i think i want a fusakli salad for lunch tonight at work so i think that's what we're gonna do y'all's nephew is in time out again because there was a dog that was coming by and we know this dog we see this dog all the time but when they both get together it's very hard to separate them because they want to play so bad and i told him to sit down and don't move and he sat down for maybe like five seconds and then he got up and started bothering the other dog like what is wrong with you god anyway got some pr packages one is from la roche pose i love them ah! and then i think our pillow covers came and then y'all look ah, our rug came i'm so excited okay so for a little bit of a backstory this is a rug that we got from target during like back to school weekend and i thought these rugs were the same color but they're not also you can see this rug gets super super dirty and it's really hard to clean so i'm so excited to be getting rid of it okay anyway this rug is an 8 by 11 so it's it's real big it's real real big like i know y'all can't see it because it's off screen but like the top of my hand is still not reaching it like i can do like another hand and a half before i'm up there so let's go ahead and take this off um hannah texted in our group chat because there's a group chat with me zaria and naya um and she was basically like she's taking her foster baby to go trick-or-treating tonight so she's not coming into work until 11 and she's like but you can just come in at 11 if you want so i'm I'm lightly considering it but like not really just because I like since I didn't get paid for my brand deals like I was supposed to I feel like I should still be going to work you know 
But I also don't know how much money that would be. Because it's four hours and I get paid 1760. Can somebody do quick math on that? 1760 times four? Ooh, that's $70. That's a lot. I should probably go to work. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, no sniffing. Come here. When mom tell you to do something, you need to do it the first time. I told you no jumping. You don't jump on Stu. That is not nice. That is not nice. Don't do it again. If you do it again, mom's going to put you in timeout. You want to go to timeout? No? Then don't do it again, okay? I love you, but you have to be a good boy, okay? Go sit in your chair. Being a parent is so hard. Hey, that's the couch, not the chair. Hey, chair. Look, chair. Yes. Okay, so this is the current living room. You know, the carpet is down here. Um. Okay, let's just do it one at a time. I feel like I've gotten like a little bit stuck in married life, and I'm like, oh, I'll just wait for Justin to get home. Jojo threw up on the couch today, but thankfully he threw up on a cover. And so I put the cover in the washing machine. But um, I put this blanket down just because I don't know what you got going on. So I think he just ate something that he wasn't supposed to eat because you know those little tennis balls that I'll show y'all that I got him last week? Like these little tennis balls. Justin lets him eat the cover off of them so that they end up looking like this. And I think he ate so much of this that it upset his stomach and now his stomach's trying to get rid of it. So he like threw up and he was pooping liquid this morning. But I give Jojo like a three day rule. Like if you're not better in three days, I'll take you to the bed. Because when I first got Jojo, he fell off the bed and he was like literally eight weeks old. He fell off the bed, like literally my first few days having him and he was limping. I'm gonna insert a clip. I'm gonna insert a clip so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. But he was limping so bad and I felt so bad. And then I took him to the vet and she's like, I'm going to be honest with you, he's faking, and I think the only reason he's still limping is because he's embarrassed. And when I tell you, for literally the first year of his life, whenever I would yell at him, he would... He didn't do it anymore because I think he forgot, but girl, dramatic. Y'all, look how he's sitting on this chair. Jojo, sit in the chair. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we have a vacuum cleaner. It's a Fabuleta. It's amazing. I'm going to link it down in the description box. It's awesome. But um, the only thing is, is that it dies kind of quickly. Like you can definitely vacuum all the areas that you need to vacuum. What the heck? Um, but it's gonna die like shortly after that, which is really annoying. And it takes a long time to charge. So that's the only part I don't like, but like realistically, we live in a studio apartment, so there's not really much to vacuum typically. So it's not a huge deal to us, but I say it's the best vacuum I've ever had. Now we're over here by the TV. Like for this to be a studio apartment, this living room is huge. Here, anyway, um, we're gonna take this rug. And this rug isn't super dirty, but we're still gonna throw it away because we really don't need it. And this vacuum also works on hardwood floors, so it's awesome. Ugh, okay. Got it. Oh, this is huge. Oh my God. What have I done? Okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything is literally gonna be perfect. Everything's gonna be awesome. I just have to. <sighs> Y'all, it's still going. Okay. So, like, realistically, this is gonna have to go under this couch. I think that's where we're at. With all... This is. What am I doing? Oh, oh, oh! Didn't crack though. Good quality for home goods. Okay, so now there's like a little piece that needs to go under the entertainment center. That little piece right there, and that's all we gotta do. We're just gonna pull this. Do not fall. I think this goes over here. Oh, 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 I see what I did, I see what I did. This is supposed to go over here. Yeah, 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 this is a point piece. But now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like it's an eight by 11. So I feel like I need to pull this out some more, like the, the carpet out, oh my God. I mean, it's just one of those things where like you don't know until you see it. 
but also is it okay because I'm probably gonna get like mats like a Christmas runner to go right here so theoretically is that okay you know what I feel like it's okay I'm like I'm not going back through all of that if I just really really hate it by the time everything is all said and done then I'll fix it later but I don't think I hate it enough to review the whole thing Okay, so here is the finished product of the rug. I honestly really, really do like it. Still debating on if we're gonna pull it out this other like little square inch. But again, if I get a runner, like that would just be too much continuous carpet. So I think for right now, this is cool. Okay, so I don't know if I told y'all this, but Justin and I are going to Seattle for Thanksgiving break. Sorry, I don't know why I was like a weird cadence to that but we're going to seattle for thanksgiving break and i'm really excited because number one justin has not seen my family in like maybe four years or so and that's not like it wasn't intentional like there's no bad blood like my family loves justin they love him um but it was just because everybody's schedules were just so opposite and when my family was in mobile justin was in auburn and he had school and he had a tech like it was just always something so the schedules were super opposite and then my family never really comes down to alabama much anyway and so it was just like hey you either get it or you don't you know what i'm saying so it was just kind of one of those situations but i'm really excited that he's able to number one come to seattle because i've been trying to get him to come forever but um i'm really excited we're going to the seahawks and 49ers game that's on thanksgiving Oh, I just feel like that's gonna be so awesome. I've never been to a football game before. Like, yes, I go to the University of Alabama and I've never been to one of our games before. I just don't care. I just don't care. And then like this season, Alabama is just not as good as we were like my freshman year, like the year before my freshman year. I don't know what's going on, but we're just not as good as we used to be. And I hate judging like football players or singers or actresses or anything like that just because I know that I couldn't go out there and do it. So it's really hard for me to judge somebody when I know that I am not capable of doing even a modicum of what they're doing. I need to shave my chin. I don't know where my little razor is though. Anyway, um, yeah, so he's coming to Seattle with me. It's gonna be awesome. We're going to rent a car from the airport because with my travel credit card, we get um, discounted rates and extra travel bonus points. So it's awesome. I'm pretty sure like after this Seattle trip, the next trip that we take, we should have enough to fly somewhere like domestically in the US for free, which would be perfect because then guess what we can use it for? The New York trip. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. But I still feel like it's really annoying that some people were in my DMs and they were like, you don't need to be going to New York. You need to be focused on nursing school and you need to stop taking all these trips. Girl, screw you. Like, I, I'm going. Like, I'm only gonna be this young and sexy once. Like, I don't know what to say. Some people are just really weird when it comes to like, spending your own money, which I don't understand that. And I feel like that's something that my parents used to always tell me a lot. Like, you're not gonna understand stuff. Like, you're not gonna understand certain ways that people act because you weren't raised to understand like does that make sense so when people are like jealous because they have like xyz like i don't care i'm not jealous of you i'm happy for you i'm happy for you because whatever that thing is and it's bringing you joy girl i'm happy i hope that you know one day hopefully in the near future that i'm able to experience that same joy that you're feeling but it's never jealousy it's never like i wish so bad that i have this person has because honestly number one you don't know how they got it and number two you don't know what they have to do to keep it and number three you don't know what goes on behind closed doors you just don't know so that's that's why I don't ever 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 wish to have somebody else's life because you don't know the kind of like turmoil that they go through like I was watching this TikTok about Shawn Mendes and he was like it's great that he's had this acclaim to fame and all this good stuff but he was like if he could give it back he would because it's just it's so hard and there's so much pressure with people watching you constantly and then I saw this video of Taylor Swift on TikTok and she was like walking backwards so that the paparazzi like wouldn't take pictures of her and like every time she goes out of her house like there's always crowds of people and then like her addresses to like her different homes like around the world are public information and so she gets stalked and she gets assaulted and people bring guns to her like that sounds horrible that sounds horrible and i know that some people will be like oh like jana like you're so famous on you know blah 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 i don't think of it that way like honestly because i do think about it that way i will start to freak out because if you think about how many people perceive you on a day-to-day -day basis it'll freak you out like Today, I made the mistake of looking at how many people watched my Instagram story yesterday, and it was like 6,000 people. And it made me like, <sighs> because you think about like how many people are looking at you, how many people are perceiving you, and it's just like, eh. Like it makes you, I feel like my innate response to that is like, oh, I have to put on a show and I have to start posting more on my Instagram story so I can keep everybody entertained. No, just be yourself. 
just be yourself people follow you because they like you people follow you because you're interesting or you're entertaining or they want something that you have honestly that's the only reason people follow you either they know you they like you you're entertaining you're educational or you want something that they have it is literally one of those five things and i just hope that when people follow me they're just like oh Diana, that's just my girl that's just my girl like every saturday at three like we're talking you know what i'm saying that's what i hope that people get from this like i don't want to think about it as like oh i'm famous i'm famous you will never hear me say that like if anybody asks me if i have like a tiktok i'm like no that's literally my first response no mm -mm. No, nah. but if people come up to me in pub, they're like, are you the girl from TikTok? I'm like, yes, of course. And, you know, we talk and we laugh and, you know, we do whatever. But I would never be that person like, okay, first of all, I'm famous. <laughs> Let's just start right there. First of all, I'm famous. I can do whatever I want to do. No, you will never get that from me. All right, y'all, I'm going to work and I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, good morning vlog. Today is November the 1st and it's probably like 7.30-ish. Um, last night at work, we did not have any patients. See our patients. So... Um, caught up on a lot of studying. I did really really good on all my studying stuff, but we'll get into that after I take a shower Okay, so like I was saying we didn't have any patients at work last night And so I pretty much studied the entire time um, Y'all know that I'm still like working through all of the ATI modules. So last night I did Dermatological disorders and I did endocrine. Yeah, dermatological and endocrine and those are two subjects that like I don't know, I feel like we kind of gloss over derm in nursing school. Like the most pertinent thing that I remember from derm is like talking about burns and the rule of nines, yada yada yada, like what fluids do you use, third spacing, like that's pretty much all I remember about that. But it was nice to just have like a quick overview of questions that highlight the high points, like not getting into the nitty gritty. Like I kept getting asked the same questions over and over again about pretty much the same thing, which lets me know that they're like, hey, this information is very important. So I'm gonna need for you to know that. Um, like I got asked like, what kind of fluids can't you use if a patient um, has like burns all over their body? And I got questions about um, like a patient had like smoke inhalation, like what's the nurse priority? And obviously it's respirations and you know, stuff like that. And then I did endocrine and endocrine sometimes is a little bit hard for me because I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. I know the normal range for blood glucose, right? I know that. What I don't know is like the different names of different kinds of insulin and like their durations and like their peaks and all that good stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I know regular insulin is like what, like 30 minutes or something like that. And I know that um, there's one insulin that can't be mixed with any other insulins. I think it's the one that starts with a G. Um, and I know MPH, you got to roll it don't shake it it's supposed to be cloudy like i know that stuff but like the duration of like you, you're gonna give your patient insulin they're about to eat breakfast when should you check your blood glucose? like girl i don't know <laughs> i literally don't know i don't know i'm so sorry but since i know that that's a weak spot for me i know that that's something that i need to focus on because i know that i, I won't say that i have like test anxiety but i'll say that like sometimes when i know that i have like a weak pointed area on um, a test that I'll be like oh they're only gonna ask me questions about that like for form like I told y'all that form is definitely not my strong suit and I keep thinking that the NCLEX is only gonna be form just because I know that that's my weakest subject and that is not true that is not true so I feel like if I know that it's a sore spot for me I shouldn't give the NCLEX a leg up on me and be able to trip me up with something like that you know so I definitely need to like get a chart, get something so that I can at least remember. If I don't remember nothing else, I at least need to remember the regular insulin, the short acting insulin and the long acting. Like if I at least know that, I feel like everything else can be easily like guesswork. But yeah, I feel like ever since I started this new study regimen, like I've been doing so much better on these quizzes. And someone from my nursing school, they messaged me about um, like how I'm studying and so I sent her everything because like I'm not one of those nursing students where like of course you have to be competitive to get into nursing school but like once you're in it girl there's literally a nursing shortage everybody who graduates is going to get a job as long as they pass their NCLEX like not a shortage of jobs anyway so I was giving her like literally all the tips um also Justin and I wanted to go to New York for Christmas really me like Justin has been to New York before obviously because Justin is very well traveled he's been to Germany blah 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 but um like I was telling y'all we want to do 50 states in three countries um and it doesn't necessarily have to start next year but like we just want to like have that done you know so um I wanted to go to New York for Christmas because I feel like New York at Christmas time is so magical and I just want to personally be able to experience that 
So I was looking at the prices and I think I told y'all like at one point the tickets were like $200 but then when I looked again the tickets were like $500 to $700 I was like Ugh, not this but I forgot well I didn't forget but I have a uh, an American Express not American Express girl I wish I wish I had an MX black but um, I have a American Airlines credit card and so every time I purchase something with my credit card I get points and then also when I purchase plane tickets with my card I get even more points and then when you open your card you get like 50,000 bonus miles or something like that there are so many perks of the card. If y'all want me to like go into how like how much I love my travel credit cards and like all my credit cards, I'll be more than happy to let you know. But I had like 91,000 miles and I think the price for both of us to go to New York for Christmas was like 85,000 miles. And so I had perfectly enough. And the only thing I had to pay or the only thing we had to pay was um, the taxes on the trip. And it was 22 bucks. 22 bucks for a flight to New York for Christmas. <sighs> I'm just so excited. And I know a lot of people were like, you need to stop traveling so much. You need to focus on school and blah, blah, blah. Girl, I am focused. I am focused. I study every single day and I'm fine. And like at the same time, like I'm 23 years old. I'm married. I don't have any kids. I'm young. Like this is literally exactly what life is for. Everybody's like, oh, like I want to travel. I want to see the world. Yes, I do. And so I'm putting pen to paper. I'm putting car to website and I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Like... But that's a whole other situation that I'm digress on because it's not that big of a deal. But like to be able to go to New York, like I'm so excited. Also, I was looking at, um, well, first I asked on Instagram, I was like, y'all give me like your regs and like your tips and everything about going to New York, you know, best places to eat, blah, blah, blah. And so people were like, oh, you got to go see the Rockettes. And I know like very minimally about what the Rockettes are. I saw that they started practicing uh, like over on my TikTok. I was like, oh, like, that's so cool, so cool, so cool. So I went to go and look up tickets. <laughs> and I also have to think about the fact that this is New York. This is not Alabama, so prices are different. $158 per ticket for seats that are so far away, like for nosebleeds, $158 per person. That's like over 300 bucks. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging about like the Rockets and see what I'm getting myself into. Cause I'm not like a, I'm not like a show kind of person. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a thing. Um, I like plays, not the Nutcracker. I saw the Nutcracker in Seattle last year for Christmas and we left during the first intermission. Like it was just very boring. Sorry. I know it's a classic, but I'm just not into it. But yeah, um, so we're going. So if y'all have any recs for New York, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I will very, very much appreciate it. But yeah, I got Justin and I breakfast from the hospital, so we're gonna eat that. He's also gonna take my car to get aligned because when I got into the accident, well, when that car hit me going 60 miles per hour in a freaking parking lot, she knocked my wheel alignment off really bad. And so Justin is gonna take it to the appointment today so that it can get fixed and so that I can sleep through the day. Um, we're also gonna decorate for Christmas today, which is really exciting. Um, we're gonna go to the gym and then we're gonna go to work today. Like I work today and then I'm off for a week. Oh, how amazing is that? How amazing, I love this job. It's literally so flexible and so fun. Okay, I feel like I have rant my mouth enough for this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat, go to sleep and I will pick y'all up when we go to the gym. I'm pretty sure we're gonna decorate before we go to the gym. So I guess I'll see y'all when I'm ready to decorate. All right, y'all, so it's 4.10. Um, I was definitely supposed to get up at like three and go to the gym, but that didn't happen. It's probably going to orange there tomorrow anyway. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and decorate for Christmas. I love decorating for Christmas. I know some people feel like, you know, it's way too early to be decorating for Christmas because it's November 1st, blah, blah, blah. Um, Justin and his mom, they used to decorate the week before Christmas. And so he doesn't really understand while we're decorating, but like there are no Thanksgiving decorations. I mean, theoretically, like there can be, but we don't celebrate Thanksgiving because like the premise of it is absolutely horrible. Um, so we just don't do that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and decorate for Christmas. It's gonna have to start by cleaning a little bit um, just because the bathroom gets kind of in disarray just because this is where I get ready. So in full transparency, I'm gonna show you our bathroom. All right, so this is the current state of the bathroom. Not the best, not the best, but we're gonna change it and it's gonna look super good. All right, y'all, so the bathroom is clean. Went ahead and organized our little skincare shelf. This is all the stuff that we keep on it. 
Of course, I had to add all the La Roche-Posay stuff that we got yesterday. And then, of course, my favorite eczema cream. Eczema girlies, y'all get it. Y'all get it, y'all get it, y'all get it. Anyway, so it's super clean. Like, it's literally sparkling. Can you see that? Looks so good. Um, of course, swept the floors, all that good stuff. And then I also took down our shower curtain. If you don't remember, there's a white shower curtain that was on top of this liner. But I also took all words. I also took out the bath mats because we got all brand new ones. So let's see everything that I got from Home Goods. All right, let me show you everything that I got from Home Goods. I think I have like four big bags that look like this. So let's go ahead and go through it. Um, I have, I'm gonna show you all this wall right here. I just scrubbed down this wall, like in that little thing right there. But I'm getting an adhesive shower, no, like towel holder. You know what I'm talking about? Like the bars that go across like this so that I can put these decorative towels on it. It's supposed to be coming today. Hopefully it comes before I get off work, but if not, I'll just get Justin to do it and it'll be fine. So I got these cute little beige snowflake flat snowflake flowers gel, beige snowflakes. Um, they're super cute. These were $12.99 at Home Goods. You can see that. Um, and then I have a Target receipt in here. Go ahead and turn that away. Oh my gosh, I love this shower curtain. It's a little beige shower curtain, and it has some white Christmas trees, green Christmas trees and no snowflakes. When we were in the store and we were getting this, which I hate that I didn't bring out with me, I forgot to put my SD card in my camera. But we were like looking through stuff and I picked up this one. I wasn't like super in love with it, but I was just trying to show Dustin that like, I didn't want shower curtains that look super Christmassy. Like I don't want you to walk into our apartment and be like, oh my God, it's like Christmas threw up in here. I want it to be very subtle Christmas, not like in your face Christmas. So I was trying to show him an example of in your face Christmas. And he was like, oh my God, that's so ugly. And there was a lady that was in the aisle us and she busts out laughing. I was like, yes, I know it's ugly, but I'm trying to show you that I don't want something super Christmassy. Anyway, oh my gosh, got some cleaning gloves. Wish I would have had that before I literally cleaned the entire bathroom. So there's that. Um, and then we got this Avanti Ultra Plush Super Soft set of two bathrooms. And I love when bath mats look like this because they're so absorbent and they're so super easy to clean. So it's nice. So um, what do I wanna do first? I think I wanna put up the shower curtain first. I just wanted to make sure that I clean the bathroom first just because I feel like it doesn't make sense to decorate if your bathroom isn't clean. I need some scissors, hold on one second. I also don't really have very much time to decorate because I still have to go to work. And I hate that I couldn't go to the gym today, but I also feel like it's okay that I don't go to the gym sometimes just because, and I I hate to say this, I hate to say this, but this channel is all about me being super transparent. Sometimes I feel like if I don't go to the gym that I don't deserve to eat, which is why I was telling y'all yesterday that I feel like losing all that weight last year probably gave me some disordered eating habits. Like I'll think like, oh, I didn't go to the gym today. Like I don't deserve to have like an Oreo because I didn't go to the gym. Like, and I will like immediately snap out of it. It's not something that I usually dwell on, but it's horrible that like a fitness journey will do that to you, you know? But I'm, I'm happy now and I'm healthy and I love my body and I love everything that my body can do for me. And oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. But yeah, if you ever feel like that, please know that you're not alone. I, I feel like that too. I know sometimes on social media, it may make it seem like a person's life is like all together. It's like, oh my gosh, like they probably don't go through anything and their life is so perfect. It's not. Everybody has their own thing. And I'm not saying like I just live the hardest life ever. Like I know I don't. I know that I'm very blessed and the life that I live is pretty awesome. But like still, even still, like everybody has their own thing. You know what I mean? So that's my little amen corner for the day. This is so cute. I just really hate like having to like loop it through all these freaking holes and then clasp them together. Like that is so annoying. Okay, this is so cute. Y'all, I love it. I love it. Even the pleats, I love it. What do we think? I called them one time and there was like an AI robot and you can order through the robot, it's kinda cool. Eater for quality assurance. Hi Jay, thanks for calling Nuke Cedary Tuscaloosa. This is what I was talking about. Hi, can I- I see that last time. You placed an order of one pepperoni pizza. Would you like to reorder this? Yes. Sorry, I wasn't able to add a pepperoni pizza to your order. 
one moment while I get someone who can help. But that was the little AI guy that I was telling y'all about, and he took my order last time. Sorry to keep you waiting. Our systems are still at capacity. Please hold while we get ready. Hi, it's the same engineer, Petri. How can I help you? Hi, can I have a, can I place a pickup order for a pepperoni pizza, please? Sure. Would you like anything else other than that? No, that's all. All right. Um, please stay on the line, ma'am. My AI assistant will confirm your order for you. And do not hang up until the system states that your order has been placed. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you just for a moment. Thank you. Would you like a drink or a dessert with that? No. I have a pepperoni pizza. That's eleven dollars and eighty-seven cents for Jay with taxes included. Will that complete your order today? Yes. Would you like to pay now or pay on arrival? Pay on arrival. Okay. Please wait while I place your order. Thank you, Jay. Your order has been placed and will be ready for pickup in about ten minutes. See you soon. Dang, I'm hanging up on me. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so this is the current state of the living room. There's a sheet on the couch because JoJo was laying on the couch and he still has this weird little stomach bug thing going on and we just wanted him to throw up on the couch. So that's why it's there. Okay, so inside this orange pillowcase is a white pillow. A very big white pillow. Y'all see how big this is? It's huge. Oh my gosh, that's so static. You hear it? Okay, now it's not doing it anymore. Whatever. Okay, so now we're going to put... This pretty red Christmas tree. Pretty red Christmas tree? What am I saying? <coughs> okay, now we're gonna put this pretty red one on. And again, I hate the color red, but this was such a perfect Christmas time red that I honestly just could not pass it up. Let's stuff this in here. I remember in the fourth grade, <clears throat> we used to have like this little, I think it was called a bell ringer. And our bell ringer was usually a super hard math problem. Like there was one time where <clears throat> the math problem like was the entire length of the board. Like all the way across it was the math problem. Now, now that I'm older, could I probably do it? Yes. But it was just a lot. It was, oh my God, it was so much. <clears throat> and I remember all of us were looking around like this is the most impossible math problem that there ever was. Y'all wonder what the answer to the math problem was? Zero oh when i tell you we were in an uproar oh my gosh also in fourth grade on um april fools we had this history test and oh my gosh it felt like it was the hardest history test in the entire world like we were learning about so much it was like like the beginning of western civilization and oh my like it was so it was so hard little eight-year-old jayana was struggling so hard i mean i love history but at the time i was like bro i'm already i already suck at fractions and now you're adding on history that i barely understand like this is just too much for my little tiny brain Anyway, so we're going through the whole test, whatever, whatever. And then at the end of the test, like, I'm talking about people are crying because it was so hard. And the teacher got mad at us and she was like, nobody read the directions. We we're like, girl, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? She's like, nobody read the directions. And the directions basically said, this is a fake test. Raise your hand when you finish reading this. Nobody raised their hand. It took us 45 minutes to take that test and nobody raised their hand because we didn't read the directions. She was trying to be so funny. Miss Johnson, nothing is funny. All right, so these are our Christmas decorations for the moment. I want to get some garland to go around this little opening right here. And then also some garland to go across the table in front of the TV. We're going to hang some stockings. But for right now, I feel like this is the perfect amount of Christmas for right now. All right, y'all. I'm officially done getting ready, decorating the house, cleaning the house. I'm going to work. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, good morning vlog. Today is Thursday, November the 2nd, probably like 7.30 in the morning. Um, last night's shift, we actually had patients last night, so you know we were actually doing stuff um but like overall it was pretty good um as far as studying i studied the musculoskeletal system and the neurosensory system which i feel like those are the two hardest subjects in nursing school i made a 85 on the musculoskeletal like little question bank that i did and then i made a 74 on the neurosensory which is not bad because i feel like neurosensory is so freaking hard um but yeah overall i still feel like my study like regimen is still working very very well and like i'm improving a lot which is awesome the gag is that i just got off of a 12-hour night shift and we have simulation today now i remember i think earlier in this vlog or maybe last week i went to simulation because again i thought we had some and we didn't have some and it was really embarrassing 
but they rescheduled it for today and so i go to seven eight thirty so don't have a lot of time at home but we just got an amazon package and y'all know like the little towel racks that you see sometimes in bathrooms that this bathroom conveniently doesn't have i got an adhesive one and i'm going to put it on this wall right here and then we're also getting some picture frames delivered today so i'm going to put some pictures up here and then also on this wall right here by the toilet and it's gonna look so cute all right y'all in my uniform i'm at the school i'm about to go in for simulation so i'll see y'all when i get back okay y'all back in the car i'm literally about to turn these seat warmers on 1000 <sighs> okay i'm sorry if you can hear the um the AC going but just finished simulation and it's my last simulation ever in nursing school I cannot believe that that's so awesome um, I asked Justin if he wanted breakfast and he said that he has been being it for some chick-fil-a chicken minis so that's fun um, so yeah we're gonna get that and I'm gonna go home I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna eat and everything is gonna be just fine I'm just so like tired and exhausted but we're powering through right it's gonna be just fun um we are gonna go to hobby lobby today did i already say that because we need like a few more christmas decorations nothing crazy nothing crazy but we definitely need a few more so i'm about to order this chick-fil-a go home go to sleep eat and we're gonna be good to go i have to sneeze so that way oh i hate when that happens when the sneeze doesn't come out all right hey y'all it is 7 12 p.m i woke up at like four something and then hold on sorry sorry just I woke up at like four something and then I had to send some photos to be printed at CVS and we went to go and pick them up so they're here and then also got the picture frames from Amazon so we're gonna hang those up in the bathroom later and we also had to go to Target to get a few things like some mounting tape um, because that's what we used to hang all those pictures up on the wall and Justin I feel like they hung up pretty well like they're sticking pretty good we also used them for this picture too and it stays pretty well so oh my gosh y'all say hey to justin y'all not seen him literally the whole vlog this thursday hey. justin what have you been doing this week um jojo watching for real and going to the rec you know being active any important highlights anything we should know about you i rolled my ankle oh yeah you did tell us about that uh you know, on somebody's foot running ankle went the opposite way it hurt it came on how are you now it still hurt all right <laughs> um oh that's so close let me back up um but yeah we also got some christmas decorations from target because i remember i was telling y'all i wanted to sorry backwards um to line this little like partition i guess with garland and so we got a 50 feet foot 50 feet what am i saying 50 feet of garland i don't know why i can't talk in this vlog i don't know what's wrong with me but we got some of that um we also got a few other christmas decorations like some stockings and then we had to re-up on like some random body care stuff like deodorant mouthwash and then we got some groceries for the week so for the rest of this week and i guess going into next week we're gonna have taco bowls which we're gonna have tonight we're gonna have some cajun shrimp alfredo and we're gonna have smash burgers so we went ahead and got all the groceries for this week um, oh, and we also got some Christmas cookies because now, now we have shrimp in here. Yeah, there's shrimp in there. Um, what was I going to say? But yeah, they have their Christmas cookies out, so we got some of the Pillsbury soft cookies. I don't know if I told y'all this, but I want to do two strand twists on my hair. So before this vlog is over, probably tomorrow, I'm going to have to sit down, set aside about like three hours of my time and do some two strand twists because I'm just tired of like having to do my hair every single day and putting tension on it and blah 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 so hopefully I like it I feel like I'll like it if I part smaller and cleaner I feel like it'll just turn out a lot better but yeah um, when we come back from the dark park while Justin's cooking we're gonna put up some of the rest of the Christmas decorations and it's gonna be awesome okay so I tried to put the garland up here and I ended up absolutely hating it so we scrapped it took it down we're probably just gonna get like some little Christmas like ornaments or whatever and put them right there on the ledge and I feel like that'll be good but y'all look what I did is this not the cutest thing ever so you have the little snowman and then our little Christmas ornament it says mr. and mrs. Estab 2023 and then this little plant thing and then look at these cute little stockings that i got from target of course me and then little jojo stocking and then one for justin i absolutely love the way this looks it's so cute bring here justin was telling me that i have gel that is in a purple bottle okay i that was the closest color i could think of what it looked like when i look at this i think fuchsia First of all, a shade just, of pink. Who just go around saying fuchsia? Who just go around saying fuchsia? That's just a color you just know on top of your head? No. When I thought about the bottle, I was like, dang. 
Like it was purple, but it wasn't purple. So I said purple. I would have said now, pink before I said purple. Do I understand that's not purple? Yes. <laughs> but I'm not colorblind. I'm just not gonna go around saying you should. No. But you also said that that orange blanket was hot red. Like that blanket had orange in it. Yeah, I don't care what you said. No, you said it was red and it was orange. Close, reddish orange. Close enough. You fade one of those out, they fade into each other. We're gonna schedule you an eye no, doctor not. appointment. No, no, ASPCA. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we are. Take this away. First of all, I'm not sure using my twenty dollar gel yeah. or your ten dollar haircut. Hold on, I don't do that. <laughs> oh, I was dancing with you. Oh, you didn't want me to dance with you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to Orange Theory. I woke up at nine because I heard Justin pop open a can of Coke and put a straw in it, and it woke me up and I panicked because I couldn't see him. And I don't know how he manages to get out of the bed every day and I don't see him, I don't feel him getting out of the bed, nothing. And it disorients me really bad. But yeah, that woke me up at like nine and I couldn't go back to sleep until like 12 something. And then I slept from 12 to four. So now I'm up, we're going to Orange Theory, Justin's going to the wreck, even though he sprained his ankle the other day. I rolled with my ankle, don't wish that on me. Semantics, semantics. Whatever. Also, J.O.J.O. has not been eating his food for real. Like, Justin will put it out in the morning and he'll, he like won't eat it. But usually, he will ravage through it. Maybe that has something to do with like his stomach being weird. But like right now, y'all can see he's eating. But maybe he doesn't want us to put water in his food anymore because we usually do it to hydrate it, but maybe he's just over it. Um, he's been drinking his water by himself. Yeah, I don't, he just, I don't know. Maybe he's growing out of being a minute, so I don't know. All right, let's pick an orange theory outfit. Yeah, got the red no, I hate red, please. But like, it looks I hate so red. Please. Please. It looks great on. I hate red. He gonna throw up. He just ate. <gasps> he was about to yak all over you, and you would have been so upset. He would yak over you. He would face that way. He would have yak over me. You'd have to turn back. He would yak over you. I'm all the way over here. How are you throwing? You yak right here. Then. He would to throw up on me. All right, try to see. No. What? what? Thought should I wear a skirt? No. You didn't even look at it. Cut it, thank you. A skirt? No. Nah. You want an orange deer. You're not gonna be here. Yes, I am. You supposed to be helping me? Yeah. Yeah, yes, what? You don't even know what this is. It's a blue long sleeve shirt I can see. What are we talking about here? Ooh! Because I'm a bad bitch! I'm a bad bitch! I'm a bad bitch! Y'all, literally, I have to wear this. Yeah. Orange Theory Hell we Stand up, stand up. Yeah. I'm so wearing this. Yeah, we're from Orange, of course. Uh, that little <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find some. You got some in there, I'm sure. Hey, man, don't be don't be too shocked. Don't be too oh, 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 come back. Come here. I don't know where are my little lemon shorts with. This must be investigated. Some could be up there and some could be down there. Where? Yeah, up there and down there. And I was trying to make sense of this. Oh my god! No, not that way. You don't play? Ah! Oh, 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 oh. What did I say? First of all, shut up. <laughs> Who's that wonderful girl? I just want to see you. <laughs> okay, one more time. Who's that wonderful girl? F R E E but free in a what's the rest of it? <laughs> Mama thugging outside will need K by My sister we get that. Y'all thug outside, y'all need cable? Yeah, actually. That's supposed to be an insult? The the Justin grew up in a gated community. I was about to say something else before gated community, but yeah, Justin grew up in a gated community. So he don't understand. You don't understand. I don't have to. How does that song start? It's like, I pull up in the club, VIP, gas tank on E, but all drinks so me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, your turn. Your turn. What? Your turn. 
What do you mean? Uh, do freak no more. Go ahead. I'll back you up. Man, you don't even like what I see. Twenty four. Hey. <laughs> this. Love you. Yeah. Come on, sing it. No. I can play it. Hold on. No. Sing it. No. I don't know the words. You whisper the words to me, and I'll say. I do. How you not know fruit no more? It's all on the You want me to bring up? No, you want me, monkey. You know what you want me, you want. I don't know the worst thing. <laughs> worst theory outfit of the day. It's um, how about say what is this called? This is a shirt, um, and then some orange Lululemon shorts. All right, y'all. I'm just from Siri. Justin's going to the gym. I'm just wearing my orange Siri Hill Week T-shirt, Lululemon Hot Hot 2.5s, and then I'm wearing my On Cloud Monsters. Today's a 2G class. That doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be easier, but we'll see. Also, y'all, I snapped on this braid. Look at this. Snapped. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, so I just finished the Orange Theory class. I was late because there was so much traffic. And y'all know how I feel about being late. It oh my gosh it gets me going and it, i wasn't late because I, I literally don't live 45 minutes away from orange theory like it's not that far away so i left the house in my normal time but i was at like one singular light that usually changes every 30 seconds for three minutes then i was in another light for eight minutes i feel like it's because the lsu game is tomorrow and so everybody is getting in now and went to the hotel and blah 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 so that's why there's so much traffic but god dog this is a lot it's just a lot but as far as orange theory it was pretty good i burned oh let me see let me see i just had it pulled up two seconds ago i burned 538 calories i had 28 splat points and i had an average heart rate of 156 even though i was five minutes late to the class technically i was only like maybe a minute and a half late to them actually working out and she's like do you want to start on the tread or the rower and i always of course i want to say the tread but they were already switching from the rower to the weight floor so i was like i'll just go ahead and go to the rower since they're like finishing because i don't want to get on the tread and then like i wasn't putting in the same work as everybody else and, like my distance wasn't like at least in ballpark with everybody else so i was like whatever i'll just do um the rower but it was fun like i i honestly had a really good time today and i don't always say that but i had a really good time and coach nathan like he's a barb He's really a barb, and he was playing like, I'm talking Bodak Yellow. He was playing Pink Friday. I'm like, hold on now, hold on, what's going on now? It was good, it was really, really good. Um, But yeah, I think I'm gonna go to Target because I need to ship out some curtsy orders. I'll link my curtsy um, down in the description box because I'm still trying to get rid of a lot of my clothes. Um, But I have three orders that I have to ship out. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Oh, you know what's gonna be closed? The school. We have a printer at the apartment. Okay, whatever. We'll we'll just do that. Um, what else? I need to take that stuff back to Amazon. I have been procrastinating. I have stuff that I need to return to Amazon for my trip to Turks and Caicos. Girl. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna go to Target and we're gonna get some like little package thingies. We need to get some French fries because we're having smash burgers tomorrow. Um, what else do we need? Maybe some Christmas decorations, but we'll see. I kind of have to poop, and I always have to poop after the orange theory. So I really want to go home, but like I should have gone. I should just go to Target because Target's right here. I do gotta poop though, like real bad. Ooh. What am I gonna do? I can poop in Target. Right? Yeah. Justin said something about hot chocolate earlier this week, so I'm getting him this little eight pack of hot chocolate. He's gonna be so happy. I'm also getting him some of the Jet Puff marshmallows because he loves these too. Also, every time I go to the store, I love to pick up something new. So I got these smoothie cubes. It says you don't need a blender for it, so I'll probably still use a blender because we have such a nice one. And then I got these little squeezable smoothies. These will probably be my new like pre-orange dairy snack. There's no sugar, plant-based, dairy-free, organic. Sounds good. I'm also going to get us some brownies to have with dinner tonight because that sounds really good, especially since I have to edit this YouTube video. So this will give me a little bit, motivation, little bit more motivation to get through. And I want to put this on the little ledge that I was telling y'all about in the house. So like these are 15 and I think this is 20. What do you think? I feel like it's cute. I feel like it's cute enough to get. I also found these cute little um, like wreath decorations in the Target dollar section. So I'm getting two of them and we're also going to put them on that little ledge. That'd be so cute. I spent $102 at Target and part of me feels like that's unacceptable but part of me feels like it's fine because I bought Christmas decorations and I feel like I'm always going to have these Christmas decorations. I'm just going to add them to it every year but it's hard when you're like first buying stuff like especially when you like get your first apartment and you realize like all the nitty gritty stuff that you need you're like bro I I'm never going to financially recover from this you know what I'm saying but it's not it's not like that. So next Christmas I'll already have a lot of my grip and it'll be fine. So we're going to go home. I did not poop in Target in case I wanted to know but 
um going home i don't think justin is home i feel like he's still at the rec but we're supposed to be taking jojo to the dog park today so let's go home all right y'all we are back from the dog park we stayed for about an hour and then we left so now we're at home making some shrimp alfredo for dinner justin did you have any casualties at the gym today nah. or at the rec nah how'd it go it went good you know it went pretty pretty seamless it wasn't a lot of people in there though no yeah. okay i'm not sure why i'm just doing the pack on friday have any words for the people as we close out this vlog Dang, is it? Yeah. They saw me yesterday and that was it. Yeah, you haven't been around. I am yes I have. You ain't been she ain't been around me. Don't don't get a twist. I've been here. She ain't been around me. She the one been ripping and running and doing stuff. Um, you know, drink your water. Did you have water today? No. Okay. I said drink y'all water. I ain't, I ain't talking about me. Drink your water. Stretch. I did stretch today. Okay. No. Have a good time. Oh my gosh, no. I have to show you oh this thing from Pitbull. From Pitbull? Yeah. Oh, you mean the... Did the, you see it? Yeah. I don't I don't know what he said, but I, what he was doing the cup thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, this is the end of this week's vlog. We will see y'all next week. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. I love you.